What's up, everybody? Flannel Fox, Tim Swernick here. This is another episode of Let's Talk About Games, and today, let's talk about Aragami on the Nintendo Switch. Now, an Aragami is a spirit that one can summon, which a woman who is captured has done, and asks you to come help her defeat this clan of light warriors. And you are a spirit of darkness in the sense that your powers are drawn from the shadows, and you're gonna to wanna to stay in the shadows the entire game. You can see right now my character is, his clothes are all black because he's in the shadows, and that's where he draws his powers. And when you go into the light, your power is literally drained from you. So if you see your cloak turning red, you gotta get back in the shadows and keep those powers going. Now what I did there was a shadow leap, and that's your main way of getting around the game. That will keep you um, moving quickly and also out of, uh, the line of sight for your enemies. Now this is a stealth game, so this has your typical stealth aspects, like it has a little meter that pops up when your enemies are aware of you, and you have to stay out of their line of sight, and we're trying to get stealth kills. Now when I say trying to get stealth kills, you can get a regular kill, um, but if you get, uh, that has to be like, if they notice you, you have to kill them right away, and that's no longer a stealth kill, that's a regular kill. But if you get noticed, straight up recognized, and then they alert people, and you, they can one-hit kill you. So you have to stay in the shadows and get these stealth kills. Unlike something like Assassin's Creed, where you can just fight your way through the enemies if you... Um, get noticed in this game you cannot you have to this is stealth game you play stealthily otherwise you'll get killed so what i did there was just use one of the powers that i unlocked um where i can make the bodies disappear throughout the game you find these little scrolls and you can unlock new origami skills now you don't level up but this is the way that you do sort of progress and you have a bunch of different techniques and skills that you can unlock like i'm trying to build up to get this shadow kill so that every time that i do a shadow kill it'll instantly make the bodies disappear whereas now i have to go up manually and do it and i'm transporting to the shadow areas um with my little blue reticle you can see when it turns blue that's when it's good to go when it does a little blue arrow up that means you can get on top of the object um, but the blue will just get you into the shadow now that's easy to do when i'm playing in docked mode um, because I have a big joystick, so it's easy to aim. It's harder when you're in handheld mode, as you could imagine. Same with any FPS game that you're playing on Switch. Um, and my thumbs definitely got a little bit sore on the train, as I did most of my playthrough on the train. I'm just going to wipe out this dude. Um, it does look really good in handheld mode where it looks worse in docked mode as you can see i checked out some playstation 4 footage and that looks a lot nicer uh, but that's a handoff that you're gonna get with basically anything on the switch because well, we have an enemy beneath us so we're gonna take him out while we can if we can there we go um this is not the most polished game you can see from the animation that we just saw when i leaped down and took care of that dude this is not a AAA game by any sense of the word, um, but once you sort of realize that, I think that there's a lot of fun to be had here. Yes, the graphics aren't perfect, the animations aren't polished, and I have bugged through the floor and had to restart a chapter, had an issue getting into certain areas of the map, but there's nothing like this on the Switch. There's Mark of the Ninja, which is 2D. Opening it up to 3D is just so much more interesting. Honestly, I prefer this to Mark of the Ninja. Um, just because it does feel like an Assassin's Creed game, sort of, on the Switch. Like a simple, very simplified version of that. Um, let's talk about the price. $26.99 US dollars. Um, and I guess it's just going to be, is it worth it to you? Like I said, it could use a lot more polish. Um, as there are some platforming sections in the game. I'm going to go, woof. There are some platforming sections of the game, and I feel like they are a little bit rough because you have to use this sort of teleport technique. So, and there's also a little quirk where you just die in water, which is kind of weak, considering like, I wanna explore and platform and do the most I can. But I've had some times where I've spent like 15 minutes very stealthily wiping out an area of enemies, and then I platformed onto this little thing that looked flat but wasn't, I slid off, fell in the water, and I died. And I was kind of pissed that I had to start back over and just wipe out all those enemies, and it made me do it a lot less carefully than I wanted to, um, 
because I spent all that time being very careful. So I didn't like that that much, but this game is certainly worth it to me. I really enjoy, once you get a hang of the gameplay and the, the stealth kills and hiding the bodies, working from shadow to shadow, even if you get detected, then you can escape just by going from shadow to shadow. It's really fun. I think the gameplay is incredibly solid. Um, I'd say that this is a solid good game, not a great game. Um, Metacritic gave this a 71% and that's on PlayStation 4. And I feel like that's a pretty fair score for this game, um, which is a really good score. So this is coming to the Nintendo Switch February 21st. I'd love to know if you got it. Um, please leave it down in the comments if you pick this game up. I'm certainly gonna keep playing. I'm about three to four hours into this game and I'm only on chapter five out of 12. So there's a lot more game to go and I'm having a blast. Like I said, there's nothing like this on the Nintendo Switch right now. So if you're just itching for something, if you are playing Assassin's Creed at home like I was and I'm just like, man, I need something else to keep this itch scratched on the go, Arigami's doing it. I really like it. Um, let me know if you pick it up. Let me know your thoughts on it if you don't pick it up. Uh, follow me on Twitter at the Flannel Fox. Follow me on Instagram at the Flannel Fox Gamer. Please subscribe to this video if you liked it. And that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Let's talk about Aragami on the Nintendo Switch. And as always, see you next time, Switchers.